Well, I'm going to do a quick video modifying my JVC solder station. You can see it's packed away in there, stuff on top of it, all around it. And it doesn't really have any kind of indication that it's on other than the LCD will show some numbers. But unless it's directly lit and you can see it, it's really hard to tell. I mean, there's a fan on it, but it's, it's a quiet fan, so you don't even hear that. So I'm going to put an LED on it somehow or other. All right, so I've already found what I'm looking for, and that's a voltage regulator. And this one even says 78M05. So most likely I've got five volts right there. That's perfect, that's what I need, or that's what I'm used to using anyway for LEDs. And it looks like it might be somewhat possible to light the LCD screen I might poke around and see if I have any white LEDs left. I might not. Not a big deal if I don't. I just want to get some kind of red LED on here. Oh, there's no window there. That's kind of weird. And I could just put a red LED anywhere on the front face of this. Just something to let me know when I turn the lights off that I had left this thing on. Okay, yeah, I do have some white LEDs. I bought a bunch of these when I was going to backlight the TG16 logo. These are kind of like little flathead looking things. But they are 1800 millicandle, so they're pretty freaking bright. And I plugged in the numbers. Um, current consumption, 20 milliamps. 4 voltage or voltage drop, 3.5 volts. So, 82 ohms in series per one for five volts being fed to it. So, it looks like I'd be safe feeding a lot more than, you know, or I should say soldering a resistor that's much more than 82 ohms to it because I don't need that kind of brightness, really. Mostly, I just want to see that something is on after I shut the shop lights or the office lights off to see that I had left the station on. And I think if I just shine a couple of these down over the top of the screen, that might be plenty enough for me to realize what I'd done. Now there's the LED and a 150 ohm resistor soldered to it. Six inches of wire. One of them's red for five volts and the other is ground. It's pretty funny to have to break out my old shitty Weller to solder stuff on my new soldering station. <laughs> Give you a little bit of an idea of where I soldered to. The tab of the 7805 regulator is ground. And then the right leg is usually 5 volt output. And there's a couple caps right there. And it's got it soldered right to the leg of the electro right there. So now I'm going to plug it in and turn it on and make sure I've got actual white light coming out of this. I plugged in and here you go. So hopefully way to get that on camera. Hopefully I can get that position just right to light up the LCD. Well because it's the actual glass is recessed in there it is extremely tight but I got it wedged up underneath the opposite corner here it's a little bit of open area just underneath there. I'm not gonna get much light out of it. I got a bunch of electrical tape wrapped around the lead so nothing touches. But I'm hoping it's just enough to where I can tell that it's on. That's all I really need out of this. That's a pretty good view of it right here. That doesn't look like much, does it? But I'm going to get it back together and then put it over where I normally keep it and turn the lights out. And I'm thinking it'll be just enough to where I can tell. Okay, there you can just barely see it. I'll shut the light out. It's there. It ain't much, but it should be just enough. <laughs> 